our analysts have researched thousands of franchisees across the world to compile a list of what we believe are the wealthiest franchisees. Now, this isn't a comprehensive list of every millionaire or even billionaire franchisee, but I just wanna go through seven franchisee billionaires that you should know and you can probably learn a lot from in 2023. They dominate certain industries. So whether it's restaurants, hotels in Thailand or restaurants in the Philippines, or even full service restaurants in the United States, these franchisees dominate the market segment they're in, which has allowed them to become billion dollar organizations. Some of these are led by individuals, some are led by families, some have even raised outside capital, but these are private companies that are franchisees that have over a billion dollars in value. So let's go through a few of these franchisees and let's start first with Jack Cohen. Jack Cohen is based out of Australia. He's a Canadian Australian businessman, entrepreneur who's been in the fast food space for many decades now. He brought KFC to Australia and he also founded and owned Hungry Jack's, which is the Burger King franchise in Australia. There was a, a lot of back and forth legal disagreements in terms of the branding, but he has the rights to Burger King, which is known as in Australia as Hungry Jacks, and it has the same kind of logo. We'll, we'll show it on, on the screen for those that are watching on YouTube. At various points, had a controlling interest in the Domino's Pizza franchises in Australia before it became a publicly traded company in 2005. So Jack Cohen, there you have it. Esmond net worth over 4 billion US dollars. He's dominated the Australian market for some of the top fast food chains in the world. Next up is Jollibee's. Jollibee's is the only publicly traded exception we made where they're a conglomerate, they're a franchisee of multiple brands, including the master franchisee of Burger King in the Philippines. They also own Greenwich Pizza Corp, Chow King, Red Broadman, which is a big shop business in the Philippines. And they bought Smash Burger, so they own that franchise brand, the franchisor, which sadly in the United States has struggled with franchise closures, even though their company units continue growth for the smash burger brand jolly bees obviously they have their own franchise brand as well for anyone that's been to the philippines and they're they're entering the u.s market but jolly bee uh, an amazing brand that's very well recognized in the philippines of course as well as principally with the filipino expat community around the world Next up, you have William Hennick, estimated net worth $1.6 billion. He's a Thai businessman. He gave up his American passport, founder and chairman of the Minor International PCL. They have hospitality, restaurant, lifestyle brands. They have a portfolio of over 500 hotels under different brands in 55 countries around the world. Some brands include the Tivoli, NH Collection, NH Hotels, Minor International. Minor International is one of Asia's largest restaurant companies with over 2,200 outlets in 26 countries. Again, various brands, the Pizza Company, the Coffee Club, Riverside, Benihana, Thai Express, which is a Canadian brand, Bonchon, Swenson, Sizzlers, Dairy Queen, and again, Burger King. Next up on the list, Flynn Restaurant Group, estimated enterprise value, $2 billion. Flynn Restaurant Group started back in 1999 when Greg Flynn bought eight Applebee's locations in the, in the greater Seattle area. He was a licensee of an, an up and coming brand, but decided to go in uh, with a very established brand, Applebee's, and really grew that from eight locations to 444 locations, principally through acquisitions. They also own 367 Arby's, 280 Taco Bell restaurants. They've got Portland, Maine, all the way to Portland, Oregon, covered for the franchise restaurants that they have in their portfolio. And they're also heavily involved in the hospitality space and real estate. Other brands, I mentioned Applebee's, also Wendy's, Pizza Hut, Panera Bread. Flynn Restaurant Group does not seem to be slowing down anytime soon. I can imagine some more acquisitions in 2023. You got Carol's Restaurant Group. Again, Burger King, $1.4 billion enterprise value. 
They are the largest Burger King franchisee, own and operate over a thousand Burger Kings as well as 55 Popeyes. The company has operated Burger King since 1976 across 23 US states. And the company formerly owned the restaurant chains Pollo Tropical, Taco Cabanas, and Carol's. Denani Group, estimated enterprise value $1.3 billion, started in the gas and convenience store business nearly 50 years ago, became franchisee for Burger King in 1994 with their first co-branded restaurant in Houston, Texas. They're now one of the top franchisees for the Burger King, Popeyes, also a top franchisee for La Madeleine, which was one of my favorite restaurants, fast casual French uh, cuisine. The group runs 504 Burger Kings, 339 Popeyes, and 41 Le Madeleine restaurants across the United States. Last up, you got the Moy Company's enterprise value, about a billion dollars, owns and operates franchises of Taco Bell, Pizza Hut, Wendy's. It's based in San Antonio, Texas. James Bodenset was the founder, sold all 755 of its Taco Bell, Pizza Hut, and Wendy restaurants, and a billion dollar plus grand exit in October, 2022. So there you got it. Those are some top franchisees that you should be paying attention to, see what they have on the horizon in 2023. And if you're looking to scale up your franchise empire, you can definitely learn from them.